All right, welcome back to the shop. Since we're playing around with the batteries and some old tools that have been sitting around a while, I thought we'd play around with this one too. Yuck. Uh, I got the old rag of shame here. Try and wipe the worst of this out of here. That's some some nasty stuff right there. It doesn't look like that got too bad. Looks like the batteries just leaked. This is why you wear gloves like this. All right, let me get rid of these batteries. All right, we got the batteries out of here. Let's try and clean this thing up a little bit. Use some of that contact cleaner. Again, safety glasses. Wear safety glasses. Okay, that's good there. Yeah, it's definitely got a little bit of a mark on it there a little bit of corrosion I don't know if you can see that Let's see if we can scratch the surface of it a little bit I don't know if I can yes I can we'll use this Now you can see that's much, much nicer. Let me get some batteries and we'll try it out, see if this thing works. All right, we're back. Got some batteries. Everything's cleaned up good here, so let's see if it works. All right. All right, it looks like it's powering on. A little bit weak, but I think it'll work. Close this back up. Maybe. There we go. Okay. There we go. Let's try it out. Got it part here. Let's just use this thing. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Gotta start it with it. There we go. Finally got it centered up, and it's running basically at, slow as this thing goes, is around 3,000 RPMs. Let's see if the tool agrees with that. It actually says 5,000. There we are at there. The tool actually says 5,000 to 3,700 RPMs. So we're actually reading a little bit lower with this and that's okay I might have had it loaded a little differently than yep there we go about 3000 RPM neat so that works it's nice Okay, so we're going to try out, see if the photo eye side of this tool works. Should be, I believe, if I don't break this thing, photo eye right there. So here's our. Oh, I see what they did there. So this is a photo eye tool with an adapter 
input in it and what that's doing is counting the impulses from there so reflective tape I really don't want to slide it all the way out cut off a piece of that and we'll put it on the chuck there okay so let's see if we can stick a piece of this onto right there okay and we'll try this again See what RPM we got. Just about the same. I uh, know. We're closer to 5,000 now. Yep. Let's see if I can hold it differently. No, that's definitely showing more. So either I'm not getting good contact with it on this which we'll try it again line it, try, I'm just trying to line this up as best I can oh you know what I bet you I know I'm slowing the tool down because it's slipping and then I drive the tool I'm loading the tool so that's why so this tool because I'm trying to drive the, the motor here now it's unloaded and you can hear it's a higher frequency so that's what's going on with that so that's why that's not an equal interesting so yeah idle is right around there I'm gonna be careful I have this wire wheel on here I don't want to go too fast I got that wire wheel way faster than I should so that's interesting there's still a bit more to go on the tool there but saved another one thanks for watching